Hi again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word. And today we're in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, and just the first verse. And um, this is one of those kind of cliffhanger verses, so to speak. Let me read it, and then we'll talk about it. It says, Matthew 28, verse 1, it starts off, Early on Sunday morning, as the new day was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb. Well, you probably know what was going on here. Sunday morning, Mary and the other Mary heading off to visit the tomb of Jesus. Jesus had died a couple days earlier on that Good Friday, and now it was Sunday morning. And because of the Sabbath on Saturday, they weren't able to uh, do any other further preparations or honoring Jesus' body during the Sabbath. And so they waited until the Sabbath was over, which would be it's Sunday morning, and they went to visit the tomb. They went with the expectations of somebody who was going to a tomb. They were expecting to find a dead Jesus. This man that they loved and had followed and were so devoted to, and then they witnessed his horrific death, and all of their hopes were crushed, and everything that they thought was going to be was now no more. They went to that tomb looking and expecting a dead body. But what did they find? Well, if you're familiar at all with the gospel message, you know that they found a risen Jesus. He was not dead, he was alive. And it was accompanied by angels pronouncements and the stone rolled away and uh, it was only the beginning. But notice that it says, it was early on Sunday morning as the new day was dawning. And I realized that, the, that Matthew, as he wrote this, was just simply talking about how it was no longer the Sabbath, it was a new day, but I think there's a real poetic um, message there in just in that word, a new day was dawning because it was a new day in a bigger metaphorical way, a new day for everyone because of Jesus' resurrection, because of his conquering death and sin and making a new life and a new beginning and a new day possible for all of his followers. God, what, I mean, listen to this. Here is these women heading off with the worst expectations, and they get surprised. What are you looking at? Are you looking at something that you expect to just be bad? Do you um, feel that things are limited and that you're not going to be able to experience um, the goodness of God because of your circumstances? I want to challenge you to go with the openness to God's possible surprise. God can and will meet you right where you are. And as you are willing to go to him, even if you don't have a whole lot of faith about what's going on, he will meet you. And just wait and look towards how God is going to show up and how your risen Savior is going to make a difference. We always have hope because God is the God of hope. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you for that Sunday morning so many years ago when you conquered death, when you made a way for everyone to experience forgiveness and new life in you. I thank you for these women who were faithfully going even in the midst of that conviction that you had died and that hope was gone, they still were loyal. They still were willing to go and to honor you. But in taking that step of faith, suddenly their life was turned around and what had seemed like the end was only the beginning. And Lord, we want to have that same willingness to step out, to trust in you and to experience how you as the resurrected Lord, can meet us and transform our situation because of your power. 
Lord, we thank you and praise you for what you did so many years ago and what that means for us each day. Each day dawns and you are alive and present. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. So once again, back long ago, 2,000 years ago, in Matthew 28, 1, early on a Sunday morning, as the new day was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went out to visit the tomb. But that wasn't the end of the story, was it? So God bless you in this day, and I pray that the risen Lord meets you. Take care. Bye-bye.